You are all welcome to Saturday prayer meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus. I keep on repeating it. And I strongly believe. And I, I, I always give thanks to Almighty God. For everything. And I keep on praying for you that. Today's Saturday prayer meeting, you will not leave today's Saturday prayer meeting empty handed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whenever you are, I want you to lift your hands above your head as we are to worship God, as we are to welcome God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit in today's Saturday prayer meeting. Lift your hands up above your head. Great are you, Lord. Great. Thank you, Father, for the day one of this month. 
Thank you, Father, for the day two, day three, day four. Thank you, Father, for the fifth day, sixth day, seventh day. Thank you, Father, for the eighth day, O oh God. Thank you, Father, for the ninth, tenth day. Thank you, Father, for today being the eleventh day. I accept my thanks, my Father. I accept my thanks, O oh God. I accept my thanks, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be thy glorified, be thy magnified. In Jesus' miraculous name, we have given thanks. Now we are going to pray. That in today's Saturday prayer meeting, we are going to invite Holy Spirit. We are going to invite God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let's tell them to come and take fully control, come and take have their way in today's Saturday prayer meeting. Open your mouth and fire prayer. My Father, my Maker, in today's Saturday prayer meeting, come and have your way, come and have your way, come and have your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, move like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, take fully charge, take fully control. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, blessed be to your holy name, for you are so powerful. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Do I say I love you? Do I say I'm grateful, Lord? Do I say I thank you? What else can I say? Do I say I love you? Oh, do I say I'm grateful? Do I say I thank you? What else can I say? Do I say I love you? Do I say I thank you, Lord? Do I say I'm grateful, Lord? What more can I say, Father? I cannot stop to say I love you, Father. Open your mouth and begin to tell him that you love him. Begin to tell our Heavenly Father that you love him. Begin to tell him that you love him, that you love him, you love him, you love him. My father, my maker, I love you, my father. Father, I am grateful, I am grateful, I am grateful. My father, I am thankful, Lord. I am thankful, I am thankful, I am thankful, my father. My father, what more can I say? What else can I say again? What else can I say, my father? What else can I say again? In the marvelous name of Jesus, in the marvelous name of Jesus, my Father, my Maker, blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the glorious name of Jesus, blessed be to your holy name. Ancient of days, we thank you. Mighty man of war, we exalt your holy name. Adonai heaven, we give you thanks, we give you praise. Thank you, God of all flesh. Thank you, God that never changed. Thank you, God that never disappointed. Thank you, mighty man of war. Thank you, I am what I am. Thank you, my lion of the tribe of Judah. Thank you, omnipotent God. Thank you, omnipotent science God. Thank you, omnipotent presence God. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, in today's Saturday prayer meeting, throw your weight around in the name of Jesus. Throw your weight around in the name of Jesus. We welcome God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In today's Saturday prayer meeting, blessed be to your holy name. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' miraculous name, we have given thanks. Amen and amen. The theme of the month, this month is a month of fasting and prayer. Amen. And the theme has not changed. The theme is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. Matthew chapter 17, verse 21, Bible said that, however, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. So when you study your Bible, you will see that there are some mountains that cannot even go down, that cannot even become plain. It doesn't matter how you want to do it. 
It will never, never go down. It will never, never become plain. Until where you involve fasting and praying. Where you now fasted and pray. Before that mountain will begin to go down. I don't know that thing that sits like mountain in your life. That all this way, you are not, you are believing God, trusting God for that mountain to go down. I speak to that mountain, that situation right now, by the power in the Holy Ghost. And I command that mountain to become plain right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how that mountain seems like. I see the God of all flesh. I see the mighty man of war. Commanding that mountain, causing that mountain to be plain right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we are to pray. I see God giving us quick answer to our prayers. In today's Saturday prayer meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 32 to 33. Matthew chapter 6 verse 32 to 33. The Bible says that. For after all these things. The Gentiles seek, seek. For your heavenly father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. Amen. The unbelievers run after these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things shall be added unto you. You cannot watch that in the life of unbelievers. They don't like to seek first the kingdom of God. What they first seek is they need their material things first. But God is telling us, Bible is telling us, because God is talking to us via his word. Our Heavenly Father knows that we need all these things. All these your material things, he knows you need it. He knows you are in need of them. But he said that you should first seek him first. Seek him first. As you are to seek him first. He said that materially, financially, everything you are taking off in this world, he will add it to you. But the criteria is that you need to first seek him. You need to first seek his kingdom. Amen. If you first seek his kingdom, you will see that everything, everything you are not believing God for, everything you are fasting and praying for, are you trusting God for children? You are trusting God for a good job. You are trusting God for your own land, for those of us that are from Africa. You are trusting God for car. You are trusting God for house. You are trusting God for a new level. For those that don't even have their papers, you are trusting God, you are trusting God to have your own papers. Bible said that you should first seek the kingdom of God. And all these things you are trusting God for, all these things you are running after will be added unto you. As you seek God, I see all of them added unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because seek, when you seek God, If you first seek God, you will see that everything in life, you will have it. My prayer for you is that if you are the one hearing my voice and you are not seeking God, you are busy pursuing all the material things. You are busy pursuing everything, everything. As you are fast and praying, what you, what you just focus is all your needs. My prayer is that God, Holy Spirit will give you a deeper inspiration Concerning this Matthew chapter 6, verse 32 and 33. So you will not know that when you first seek his kingdom, that all these things you are praying for, all these things you are believing God for, he will add, he will add all of them to you. Because he, God, the God you are seeking for have everything. So when you seek his kingdom, everything, everything, you will have everything. My prayer for you this afternoon is that as you seek this kingdom first, God of all flesh, the owner of the whole universe, he will give you everything, he will have everything you needed in the mighty name of Jesus. And he will make you to have everything in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the book of 
John chapter 14, verse 2a. John chapter 14, verse 2a. Bible says, in my father's house are many mansions. In my father's house are many mansions. So there is nothing that is not in this our father's house. As a Christian, it is better and it is good for you to let the kingdom matters be your concern. Because when you make kingdom matter to be your concern, you will see that all the other things you are running after, praying and fasting and fasting for, you will see that helpers are added to seekers of God. Helpers, they are just added to seekers of God in the kingdom. Just seek God. Just seek first the kingdom of God. This one is the month of June. And number six is the number of man. We know it. That is the number six. It's the month. And this is the, no the, the month of June. Your helper. Your helper. You need helper. You need man to help you. That your dream. You need man to help you to help you facilitate it. You need man. My prayer for you is that as you are to start today and seek first the kingdom of God. I see the God of all flesh sending you helper in the mighty name of Jesus. As you are to pray this afternoon, because this is the month of June, and this num the month is a the, the is a number six June is a, the sixth month of the year. My prayer for you this month is that oh, every day as we are seeking first the kingdom of God, all the areas you are trusting God, you have been fasting and praying for, and that those area is in the hands of a man. My prayer is that. The God of all flesh, the God that called me, will go move ahead of you and give you that favor in the mighty name of Jesus. The God that called me will, will move ahead of you and put anointing for spirit in those areas. It will be delivered to you speedily before this month is over in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are to worship God and move into the prayer session right now. I see the God of all flesh moving like never before in today's prayer meeting, Saturday prayer meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bless, I lift your name. Oh, bless the Savior. You are worthy of our praise. There is no Oh! 
Beautiful, you are. Father, you are beautiful. You are. You are beautiful. 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 My Father, my Maker, you are beautiful. Blessed be to your holy name. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be that glorified. Be that magnified. In Jesus' miraculous name, we have given thanks. We are going to take our prayers. We are going to pray. Father, have mercy on me and deliver me. Father, have mercy on me and deliver me. Open your mouth and fire prayer. My Father, my Maker, have mercy on me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and deliver me in the name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray. We are going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Every evil trap of the devil set for me, my family, my loved ones, catch fire. Father, every evil trap of the devil set for me, for my family, loved ones, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. My Father, my Maker, in thy name that is above every other name. So every evil trap of the devil set for me, set for my family, set for my loved ones. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. 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 Catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful, you are so glorious. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As I stretch forth my right hand towards your direction, by the power and the Holy Ghost, every evil trap of the devil set for you, your family, your loved ones, I command them, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I command them, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I command them, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. As I have commanded, so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray. We are going to pray, Father, any cloth of mine that carries the spirit of bad luck. Amen. Father, any clothes of mine that carry the spirit of bad luck, I tear it to I tear it to pieces. And as we are praying, you will just be demonstrating as we are just tearing something. You are just you are you will be demonstrating it. You are tearing it into pieces. You are tearing it into pieces. You are tearing it into pieces. Amen. So let me repeat the prayer before we move on. Father, any clothes of mine that carry the spirit of bad luck. I tear it to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. My father, my maker, any clothes of mine that carry the spirit of bad luck, I tear it to pieces. 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 I tear it to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I tear it to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I tear it to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I tear it to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I tear it to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I tear it to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. I tear it to pieces. 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 Blessed be to your holy.
holy name. Hallowed be to your name for you are so powerful. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father, as I stretch forth my right hand towards your direction, by the power and the Holy Ghost, any of your clothes <laughs> that carry the spirit of bad luck, <laughs> wherever that cloth is, by the power and the Holy Ghost, I command that cloth to catch fire right now. Whether that cloth is spiritually, whether it is physically, I command that thing to catch fire right now. I command that cloth to that spirit of bad luck to catch fire right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command that cloth to catch fire right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, blessed be to your holy name. <laughs> Any devices you are watching me from, you are going to place your left hand on that devices because I'm going to stretch forth my right hand because this cloth of bad luck sometimes we don't even carry it physically sometimes it will be spiritually that the enemy is just clothing with bad luck you will not know but I, we are going to tear it right now because starting from now you will not experience bad luck again in your life in the mighty name of Jesus whatever devices you are watching me from place your left hand on that devices why I stretch forth my right hand towards your direction and I pray. My Father, my Maker, I speak into the life of your children right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, every symptoms of bad luck in their lives, anything that they have that carry the spirit of bad luck, as I do mention power three times right now, the power of God will move and begin to tear all of them right now. In the mighty name of God, I they count of three. Power! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Begin to tear them. Let the power of God begin to tear them out. Let the power of God begin to tear them into pieces. Let the power of God begin to tear them into pieces. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power! Yes, Lord. 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 In the marvelous name of Jesus, blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now we have tear that garment of bad luck. Now we are not going to wear the garment of good luck. Amen. So we are going to wear garment of good luck. And you know how to normally wear your own clothes. So as I am to live, to live this prayer right now, you will begin to demonstrate that you will wear a garment of a garment of good luck, both spiritually and physically. Amen. So we are going to pray. Father, from now henceforth, I wear the garment of good luck. I wear the garment of good luck. You begin to put on garment of good luck. You know, you know how to normally put on your garment. Now begin to demonstrate it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. My father, my maker, from now henceforth, I wear the garment of good luck. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful, you are so glorious. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. By the power and the Holy Ghost, as I stretch forth my right hand towards your direction. Hey, by the power and the Holy Ghost. Hey, I am not we make you to wear garment of good luck because when you wear this garment of good luck, favor is inside this garment, blessing is inside this garment. <laughs> because when this anointing fall upon you, <laughs> hey, if it's someone that I see any trace of bad luck in your life, <laughs> when this anointing fall upon your life, <laughs> this anointing will not flush the remaining trace out of your body, and the anointing for good luck will begin to occupy yourself. <laughs> By the power of the Holy Ghost, take it. Anointing for good luck. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the miraculous name of Jesus. 
In that marvelous name of Jesus. Pay! Yes, Lord. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, I have decreed. When you carry this anointing for good luck, <laughs> both spiritually you will be favored. Physically you will be favored. And don't forget that it's spiritual that controls physical. There are some people that they carry that, they carry that, uh, that bad luck. To the extent that any place they go, they'll just be smelling. They'll just be smell bad odor, bad odor. But when you carry this anointing, when this anointing for good luck follows you, any place you go, you will be favored. And this is the sixth month of the year. Amen. Maybe you have been praying that you want to be sought with the, uh, with, with the anointing for good luck. <laughs> Maybe you have been praying for all this while that, Father, I want to be enjoying good luck like never before. <laughs> I pray that today is your day by the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Take it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I believe that today is your day. Take it. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Take it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the marvelous name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus, blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. In the book of Genesis chapter 26, verse 12 to 14. Genesis chapter 26, verse 12 to 14. Bible said that, Then Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. The man began to prosper and continue prospering, until he became very prosperous. For he said that, for he had possessions of flocks and possessions of heads, and a great number of servants, so the Philistines envied him in your life. God will prosper you to the extent that people around you will begin to envy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the book of First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to 10. Bible says, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear had, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who loved him. Amen. But God has revealed them to us through the His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things. Yes, the deep things of God. Amen. God is telling me that what he's going to do in your life this year, that ears, ear has not even had it. Eyes has not seen. That will be your portion in this year, 2022, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because in the book of James chapter 4 verse 7, James chapter 4 verse 7, Bible says, Therefore, submit to God, receive the devil, and he will flee from you. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I come against the devices of the enemy to destroy and rob us of God's blessing this year. So we are going to use that power in the blood of Jesus against every devices that enemies want to use to destroy you, to destroy your family, and use that opportunity to rob, rob your, the blessings, God's blessing from you. We are going to release the blood of Jesus to destroy it. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I come against any devices of the enemies to destroy and rob us of God's blessings this year. Be, be nullified by the power of the blood of Jesus. Be nullified by the power the blood of Jesus. Be nullified by the power the blood of Jesus. Be nullified by the power the blood of Jesus.
Jesus. Any devices the enemies want to use, any devices they want to use to rob us, to distract us of God's blessings in this year 2022, be nullified by the power of the blood of Jesus, be neutralized by the power of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you. The blood of Jesus is against you. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I pray for you. Every device of the enemies. To, they want to you to distract and to, I use this opportunity to rob of to rob God's blessings from you. Whether they want to use you spiritually or physically, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I command them be nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power and the holy blood of Jesus, I command them be neutralized in the mighty name of Jesus. As I have commanded, so shall we be. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit, blessed be to you, Holy. We are going to take our prayers. We are going to pray. We are going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh heavens over my prosperity, open by fire in the name of Jesus. Let me repeat the prayer again. Father, in the name of Jesus, all heavens over my prosperity. Open by fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. My Father, my Maker. My Father, my Maker. I by the my Father, my Maker. All heavens over my prosperity. Open by fire in the name of Jesus. 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 Open by fire. Open by fire. Open by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As I stretch forth my right hand towards your direction, by the power in the Holy Ghost. I command heaven over your prosperity to be opened by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. As I have, as we have prayed, and so shall it be. Your uh, heavens over your prosperity will be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. As I have declared, so shall it be your life. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be thou magnified, be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Now begin to tell him thank you. For this prayer session, begin to tell him thank you. For answering our prayers, begin to tell him thank you. Father, we give you thanks. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for me. What a marvelous God. What a powerful. He said to do marvelous things for you oh. Amen. If you are every, anywhere you are watching me and you are sick in your body and you are tossing off to touch you in today's Saturday prayer meeting, I want you to place your left hand on that position as I'm to pray right now. The mighty healer will touch you and that pains you will not see it again in the mighty name of your Bible said that that affliction will not rise up the second time. 
Anything in your life that is standing like affliction, that is standing like a pharaoh, like standing that stands like a plague. That condition, we hear the voice of a woman of God right now. And I see that condition picking race, leaving you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as I stretch forth my right hand towards your direction, every sick in the house, be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the healing power of God flow all over your life, all over. Let the healing power of God flow. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be that glorified. Be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. After this program, begin to observe yourself and begin to examine yourself. You will see that that is it done. It's already out. You shall see it no more in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And don't fail to return back with testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you are this type that every Saturday prayer meeting, you want to be on fire. And you don't want the fire of God in your life to drop. And because you want to be on fire, you want to be burning for Jesus. And you want to enter this realm that when the fire of God is in your life, it will be unquenchable. And all the time you are praying, Father, I want to enter this realm of unquenchable fire. I want to operate in this realm of unquenchable fire. I pray for you this hour. By the power and the Holy Ghost. By the power and the Holy Ghost. Take it! In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name. Because when you enter this realm, you will see that nothing by any means will draw you back. Hey, when you enter this realm, you will see that even when you are even dreaming, you will just be firing prayer. <laughs> even when you are dreaming, you, are, you will be speaking in the Holy Ghost. Even when you are dreaming, you will be worshipping God, singing praises. <laughs> you need this level. You need to enter this level. <laughs> you need to enter the level that even as you are waking up, you are waking up with speaking in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> you need to enter this level that even you are waking up, <laughs> you are waking up with songs in your mouth. <laughs> you need to enter this realm that when you are wake up, you wake Wake up with a prayer point, with a prayer point that you need to pray until you become satisfied. Hey, by the power of the Holy Ghost, take in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the marvelous name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be to your holy name, my Father. Hallowed be to your name, for you are so powerful. Be that glorified, be that magnified. In Jesus' mighty name, I have decreed. Wherever you are watching me, I want you to place your two hands on your head. As I make the declaration, as I make the declaration, put your two hands on your head. I don't know that power that has been fighting you. I don't know that altar that has been speaking, pulling you down spiritually, physically. <laughs> As you place your, your hands on your head, I make a declaration. You will never go down again in the name of Jesus. No powers will pull you down again in the name of Jesus. No powers, no powers will pull you down again in the name of Jesus. Now begin to speak to yourself that you will not be pulled down again. You will not be pulled down again. Begin to speak to yourself. Begin to speak to yourself. You will not be pulled down again. You will not be pulled down again. No powers, no altars will pull you down. No altars will pull you down again. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to adopt this impartation. Will this impartation fall upon your life? In this your life, once you continue to hold on to the owner of the whole universe, when you continue to hold on to God, nothing by any means will pull you down. That altar for your father's house will not pull you down again. In the mighty name of Jesus, take it!
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, when this impartation fall upon your life, <laughs> you need this impartation. You need this impartation. Because when this impartation fall upon your life, <laughs> hey, that power from your foundation that makes you every Saturday prayer meeting, you will just be on fire. Someday you will be on fire. Monday you will be on fire. Tuesday you begin to slow down. That power, <laughs> when this anointing, when this impartation fall upon your life, it will not affect you again. Instead, you will continue to go up. You will continue to move higher. You will continue to move higher. You will continue to move higher. You will not go back again. Nothing will slow you down. Nothing will slow you down. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Power! Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes Lord, yes Lord. Yes Lord, as this impartation is moving, as this impartation is moving, as this impartation is moving, you will not go down again. Spiritually, physically, nothing will pull you down again. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Receive that impartation. That impartation that will make you to stand still. That impartation that will make you to continue to move forward. In the mighty name of God, receive it. In the mighty name of God, because when this impartation falls upon your life, you will begin to get to, uh, to examine yourself, begin to get to watch yourself. That thing that after everything, you will begin to slow down. You will not slow again. You no more and no more. You will not move slow again. You will be moving higher. You will be moving higher. You will be moving higher. Hey, in the mighty name of Jesus, receive it in the name of Jesus. Why I come, my father, my maker? <laughs> hey, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Hey, my father, my maker. <laughs> yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hey, my father, my maker. Hey, there are some of you hearing my voice. After this Saturday prayer meeting, because of this impartation, you will be very weak. You will be very tired. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As you are weak, as you are tired, be just begin to just give thanks to Almighty Jehovah for the impartation. Begin to thank God for the impartation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take it! In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. There are some of you that even after this Saturday prayer meeting, you will just enter this realm that for some minutes, you will continue to blatter in tongues. Because, because the impartation is heavy. Because the impartation is heavy. It doesn't matter. Continue to flow in that realm. Continue to enjoy that presence. Continue to enjoy that presence. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. There are some of you that as I'm dropping this impartation, it will not, uh, it will not come to you in a such a way that that position, that position you, are, you just stayed as you are doing this Saturday prayer meeting. You will be in that position some minutes after the program ended. It doesn't matter. That is impartation. So it comes in a different way. It comes in a different way. But you need this impartation in this life. You need impartation in your life. Because when this impartation falls upon your life, you will begin to swim into another realm. When this impartation falls upon your life, you will not move to another level. Hey, that's your spot. That place you have been staying. It has been long. You don't need to continue in that spot. You don't need to continue with that level. You need to move to another level. Because if you want some that prayer meeting, you will see that we are getting bigger and larger every day. Why should we stay at a spot, at one stop for a long time? You will see it's not normal. But when this impartation I am dropping right now fall upon your life, spiritually, physically, everything that concerns you will take another shape by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I give you thanks. My Father, my Maker, I give you thanks. Blessed be to your holy name. Oh, blessed be our God, our Father and King, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, blessed be our God, our Father and King, His name is Jesus, Jesus. In 